If naturalistic atheism is true, it logically follows that there's nothing really wrong with the Islamic terror attacks. You see, we must not only discuss ancient religions, but also talk about all ancient worldviews and ancient ideas. After all, the Old Testament actually speaks of foolish atheists. So atheism is not a new idea by any means if they're talking about it thousands of years ago in the Old Testament. There's nothing new about atheism. Don't be misled. But it's vitally important to understand consistent atheism. It's, vital, it's vitally important for us, if we're going to interact in culture today, to understand what follows from this idea of atheism. What logically follows if God does not exist? You see, if God does not exist, then there is nothing objectively good, bad, right, wrong, fair, or evil with anything. I've talked about that here on a Sunday morning before. If God does not ex exist, there is no what we call objective moral values and duties or obligations. Those things are just illusions if atheism is true. Well, it logically follows then that if, if naturalistic atheism is true, that means if God does not exist and all that exists is just nature and the physical universe, that's what we call naturalism. If naturalistic atheism is true, it logically follows that there's nothing really wrong with the Islamic terror attacks. There's nothing really wrong with that. On top of that, if this naturalistic atheism is true, these Islamic terrorists had no choice in the matter. This is what follows from naturalistic atheism. I want you to get this. If the physical universe is all that exists, then it's just the laws of physics and chemistry coupled together with the initial conditions of the Big Bang that forced these terrorists to believe and behave exactly as they did. There was no choice in the matter. It's not their fault. Blame it on the Big Bang. Blame it on the laws of nature. Don't get mad at people. They're just falling dominoes according to atheistic naturalism, and so are you. Now, to make matters worse for atheists, just trying to help you understand these ideas that are out there and are flooding our culture that we are in today and that we are supposed to and called to impact and influence. You have to understand where they're coming from. To make matters worse for atheists, history is not on their side. This past century has provided evidence as to the consequences that follow from atheistic ideas. As the nations that have been governed according to these ideas usually end in suffering and mass human slaughter. Now, considering that if atheism were true, thank God it isn't. Did you catch that? Okay. <clears throat> if atheism were true, there is nothing really wrong, bad, or evil with any action, and that there would be no ability to make any moral choices, and given the history of governments officially adopting atheism, make all deaths under the umbrella of religion pale in comparison. Why would anyone want to hold to an incoherent worldview like atheism over a world that commands all people to love all people? You see, ideas have consequences. I mean, can you imagine the consequences of a world in which everybody agreed to and held and lived accordingly to the big ideas that Jesus offered? Can you imagine the consequences of, of a world where we all held to the ideas of Jesus? Sounds like heaven to me, where everybody loved everybody. That's the ideas of Jesus. That's what Jesus commanded. Can you, can you imagine the consequences of, of living in a world like that? It sounds like heaven to me. Maybe Jesus was onto something. 